Okay, good morning, everybody. Everybody, good morning. How are we doing this morning? How's everybody doing this morning? Hey, Gerald, can you set the video, Gerald, real quick, please? Let's do a quick video. Hey, Tina, good morning. Hey, Russ, good morning. Hey, Steve, good morning. Phil, good morning. Let me know when you're ready to go, Gerald. Hey, Thomas. Hey, Sal, good morning. We're going to go over the algo uh, here in a few. Uh, I'll record it. Uh, Gerald has the new update. Um, he is going to start working on uh, getting that all together for you guys. So now I got you, Gerald. No worries. All right, so let's get um, let's wait till we're ready here for Gerald. I want to record this. Okay, so let's take a look at it. So here's the uh, new algo, the update you will be getting. Um, Gerald is locking it up, so uh, no need to email him. Um, he will uh, he will send it out to the members when he gets this all locked up. So let's go over, and take a look at it on the upgrade. Uh, what we're going to be getting with the um, with the upgrade. Uh, the upgrade is going to actually have the arrows that actually fire off when there is a trade or a possible buy or sell setup on any given market. Uh, this is an Uni Rinko bar. Uh, you don't have to use an Uni Rinko bar. You can use our own Rinko bar at works or any other time frame or any other Rinko you want to use. But basically any time frame that you feel that uh, works well with the algo. Let's just go over uh, yesterday's trades a little bit. Uh, today we're setting up some trades already this morning on a buy setup as we speak. So let's take a look at uh, of, of what the new uh, update will entail. Um, we still have the ATR, the difference in the new update, the ATR is going to be a continuous ATR. What that means is if it is red, it is looking for sell setups only. And we will have a conference call for members only on this. So this will be for members only. We'll go over exact details. I'll give you exact uh, settings, exact time frames, and so on. I'll give you uh, preferences on targets, stops, etc. So we'll have that uh, uh, conference call. So I just want to go over the basics here with you today. But this is an Uni Renko bar. If the ATR is going to be continuous for 24 hours. So what that basically means is I, I got a trend filter and an ATR that's built into the system. If you have a red ATR, you are looking for sell setups, period. If you have a green ATR, we're looking for buy setups, period. When you get these WPTs or these wrongly positioned trader boxes that come up against the overall trend, that's called a speed box. When you get these that pop up, you have a possible buy or sell setup. Now these arrows you have to worry about because they're automatically going to pop up automatically for you on any given qualified trade. So now we don't have to worry about the stochastic below anymore. That's the major upgrade that we did or the, uh, the bottom oscillator. It's already built into the program. So no matter what time frame you use, a qualified trade will fire up with a red arrow for sells, a, buy, a green arrow for buys. So we look at yesterday's action in the afternoon. Um, we had a red ATR going into the afternoon. And once these green speed boxes start printing, what happens is, is it'll wait for a qualified setup, and then it will fire a red arrow. Now we have a strategy attached to the indicator, meaning the strategy can be traded live. If you find parameters that you do enjoy that's working well for you after you forward test it, we are back testing this uh, with uh, one of our members are going to assist us in back testing this up to 40 years over the last 40 years. So we will have that assisted uh, with you and we appreciate that. Uh, well, one of our members, thank you so much. So um, I have already forward tested this and now we'll be back testing this to give you additional results. But we will have uh, the zones that we prefer coming out to you. This is the preferred zone, my preferred zone. Uh, that is, is standard with all um, all these uh, members that will be getting it. 
And so when the simple, the simplicity of it is this, is that if you have a red ATR, if you get inside of this preferred zone, now you can change the zones per any market that you want. I do have the code open to change the zones. But if you do get into my preferred zones, the market loves to reverse in this preferred zone. This is the S&P, the big contract. Uh, what it likes to do, it likes to come into this zone. If you see a green speed bar, opposite color of the ATR, then what you do is you'll watch for the arrow to fire, and that will be your overall entry. As far as uh, a sell, uh, that this is the educational entry for, for a possible sell setup on the S&P. So you can see it caught that move and caught this move. Now, if you want all trades, I'll show you what to do. If you go into the indicator, and this is uh, the neat thing about this update, which we do not have with the previous updates. If I go to the indicator, my zone is 49.38. That's my preferred zone. Um, my previous zone was uh, 48 uh, to 38, uh, 45 to 30, 45 to 38. Uh, but by doing forward testing, this is my preferred zone as of right now uh, for you guys. So I'll be getting this out to you. But if you look at the, um, if you look at this uh, toggle switch, so this toggle switch, right there, the toggle switch, uh, it has, says zone and it says minus two ticks. What does that mean? You can put the zone ticks, meaning once you get at this zone or inside this zone, it will only take trades inside this zone. So it's not going to take any trades outside of this zone. Now, if you wanted to take trades with all WPT setups, catching the rolling position traders against overall trend, because those are what create major possible reversals, then all you have to do is unclick this zone like that. And when I hit uh, apply, then what it's going to do is it's going to show you all arrow, all WPTs, no matter what. You can see it fired here, it fired here, it fired here, and it fired here. So now what you can do with the new program is you can only take zone trades, which totally increases your accuracy because you're only trading inside the zone. What it also does, it totally increases, uh, lowers your stop because your stop is two closes outside of the ATR. You should never violate the ATR by two closes. My, uh, my zones are very, very accurate. It should stay within the zone on a reversal. Obviously, this S&P sell was just absolutely beautiful yesterday, over 25 S&P points straight down on this uni, which will go over the conference call. But what you can do now is you can actually, uh, you can only trade zones if you want to. So you go into the indicator, let me get that back out of the way, um, and you could trade zones. If I click zone, and we'll go over this, what the zone ticks mean, but so it can be so many ticks within the zone or inside of the zone, negative or positive ticks inside or outside the zone. So if I click zone and I apply it, then what that's going to do, it's only going to take my zone trades, and it's going to ignore any any trades that's not inside my zone. Now I put negative two ticks because I want to try to get this sweet spot inside the zone. I don't even want it to touch the zone. I want it to get in here. All my trades inside the zone. And I'll go over that in the conference call for members. You can do positive tick zones, which is outside the zone by, let's say you want to go positive two ticks. It takes the lower zone and positive two ticks will take all trades within there. So if I change this to positive two ticks, get out of the way, then it's going to take all trades within two ticks of that zone. And th that's how you can, you can change your zone trading. Now you can see it took, the, it took the trade within two ticks of the zone right here. Or if you say, okay, I just want it right at the zone or higher, that means it has to at least close inside that lower zone. So what I can do then, that's why this update's really, really neat. A lot of versatility with it. And then what you can do is hit zero, and that means it's got to be actually inside actually of the zone. So you can see it hit inside the zone here and here, but it never qualified there because of the X ticks. So the X ticks works beautiful like that. And what it'll do, you'll come down another trade, and it will wait again. 
And you can see my ATR is continuous. It's red. It doesn't cut off. And now what it'll do, it'll wait for the green speed bars to come up. And when these speed bars come up, we know that's a high probability possible reversal. So when you get this high probability possible reversal, what we're going to do is the arrow will automatically come up. It's inside the zone, so it's not going to take trades outside the zone like this. Only takes zone trades, and it gets a zone for a trade setup. And that's another nice trade. The live build and load that bar, 33 all the way down to 25, another 8 S&P points. This one was yesterday, was pretty huge, 50 and 3 quarters, and it got as low as, what, uh, 25? That's 25 possible S&P points. Then we come up to the zone again, and this is yesterday again. If there's my speed bars firing, speed bar, opposite color green. It gets inside my zone. This arrow automatically prints, and then you can see another nice reversal as far as that goes. So that's the beauty of this new update. Now, that's the indicator. Now, the indicator, uh, what I attached to the indicator, another upgrade I did is I attach the long alert and short alert, so it will make an audible alert. And you can change it whatever you want. You can make it beep. You can make it uh, whatever if you want to add your own audible alert. Um, I know some of you like to use submarine if the market's going down, like the submarine's diving. And then you like to use bullseyes if it goes uh, buys. Green would be bullseyes. You know, you can really do anything you want and put into the wave alert there. Um, I got it changed to five different waves you can change it to. You just go in there, change at the end, the alert to uh, whatever you want, alert one, alert two, just change the number right there, and it will beep really loud when the arrow fires. The alert will only fire, here's the new upgrade, here's the neat thing about it, it will only fire when the arrow fires. So you can have several multiple markets trading that you find with parameters, and you will only fire when a trade setup is occurring. Okay, so I thought that was neat too, so uh, I added the alert in. But it's very simplistic. Um, I did add a trend filter into this. And uh, Unibar, uh, a trend filter. So there's a trend filter built in. You can change your speed period, your speed candles. Uh, your ATR length, I made it very simple. Two ATR lengths. There's your zone ticks. And there's your long alert. Very simple. Now, what you can do, like I said, is you can run the strategy off this. Now, you will have to sign the disclaimer, everybody. Obviously, uh, strategy trading um, is uh, very aggressive. If you just strategy, let the computer strategy trade for you, so there will be, a obviously, a disclaimer. You have to know about the risk involved if you let the strategy enter for you. But that is now available. Uh, the strategy does exactly where the indicator fires the arrow. It will fire exactly where that arrow fires. So now there's not going to be any, well, when does a uh, strategy fire? Uh, does it fire here? Does it fire there? There's no, you know, uh, guessing. If you see the indicator firing, the strategy should fire also. So if I go to the strategy then, if I go in here to the strategy, let me... Uh, Got it in here already. So if I go to strategy and I turn, uh, let's take a look at the strategy. So the strategy, the same thing. I made it exactly the same to make it easy, very simple uh, for, for you guys and gals. I've made it exactly like, like the indicator. So now it's very transparent, very easy to understand. There's your trend filter up top, speed period. As you can see, it looks just like, exactly like the indicator. Okay? So you just, uh, there's my ATR is exactly the same. Uh, uh, there's my DS in there. I got it built into the program already. It will only look for deeper retracements. It won't take shallow retracements. So I got that built in. You don't even need to program that in there anymore. There's my zone. I got it checked for zone. You have your start time and your stop time. There's your zone ticks. I have it programmed for negative two ticks inside the zone, taking trades only. Uh, but then I got four targets. Now, a lot of you guys will, will probably want to try to run the, uh, the minis. At first, if you start trading uh, fine parameters that you like, or if you like the parameters I have, um, uh, you probably want to try to start. If you do trade live monies with this, then obviously uh, micros are one-tenth of the big contracts on these contracts. We have tons of micros out there. They even have Bitcoin micros, for goodness sakes. So um, if you do want to do that, I have four uh, contract sizes, target one through target four. How this is going to work, uh, start time, stop time. Your trade size is one. That means it's going to take one, two, three, four contracts short or long. Uh, after the first target hits, it's going to be break even plus one. No matter what, it automatically does it for you. And then after target one hits, uh, then it will go for target two. When target two hits, the stop will be moved up automatically to target one. When target three hits, the stop automatic, automatically moves up to target two. And then when it tries to go for that extra long target, it trails by... Uh, 10 ticks trail. 
All right. So this is a longer term. Your stop tick, your stops can. This is a more of a position trade, longer term uni. Um, your stops can range from 12 as high as 35 ticks is what I found. You don't need to go higher higher than 35. I wouldn't go higher than a 35 uni Rinko bar. This works all the way up to a 35 uni Rinko bar very well. Um, I wouldn't go lower than maybe a five or an eight uni Rinko bar uh, that I'll show you in the conference call. So your stops will determine on your on your size that you want to use uh, on your uh, uni. I have an 18. Uh, uh, I like using the 18, but you can go 25 up to a 35 Rinko bar. You can use a 13. So you can adjust your stop according to the uni bar or the Rinko bar or wherever you want to use. Anywhere from 12 to 35, depending on the bar size. Um, your trail, uh, there's your trail. What that means, that's just what I went over. Uh, your daily goal, daily stop. Let's say if you're just happy with 500 bucks for the day or you want to stop it out at 300 for the day or 250, you said, hey, strategy, I don't want to go below 250 or, or get me out 300. What it'll do, the strategy will just shut down. Um, once it shuts down, uh, no trades will take place from there. So that's what daily goal, daily stop is. I just keep them in the same, so it just runs all day. Uh, when you guys test it. So if you turn the strategy on, you'll notice uh, what it will do is it will take the same exact trades. It'll take the exact same trades as the arrows. So here's what it will do. Here's how I have it programmed. So what you'll do is initially took a trade up here. Initially took a trade all the way back here for this big one. This was actually a big trade. This was uh, 3,900, and I don't think that stopped out to the last contract until, what was it? It was way down here. 3,900 down to 3,821. That's almost 80 S&P points the algo took. 80 S&P points on that one. But what you'll notice is here is this on this one. If you, you notice the red H, the state red ATR the whole time. And this is a, a major upgrade I made in the program. So it keeps your mind right. So when you're taking these, and this one actually closed outside by two candles. That's why I never took it. If it closes out by two candles here and here, but it's still in a downtrend, this is where the counter trend traders push it too far outside the zone, you're not going to get an arrow. And that was a major upgrade I did. It's just going to not show an arrow, but it's going to stay red ATR to, to get your mind right. So it will only take trades inside the zone. Then it gets back inside below the zone, gets inside the zone, then starts taking trades again. It will go up to four contracts, but what it will do, let's say that you are – Four contracts. Um, let's say that uh, you're 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 still running on this contract up here, and it's still running. What it will do, it will only let you be long or short four contracts at any given time. I made that to make sure that we don't get overly exposed in the market. Uh, so what you can do, what it does, you can see it took just three contracts short here. The reason being, it's only four max at any given time. I don't care if you do micros, and I don't care if you do big contracts it's only going to take a max of four contracts. So it was already short on that 80 possible short up here from yesterday at 11 o'clock. So you can see it took out target one, target two, target three. But my last target is 1,000 ticks. It's going to keep running, 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 running until the trail stops out. So what it will do is, is once it takes another trade, what it will do instead of taking four contracts short, it will take three contracts short because I still have one running. And that's just so we don't get overly exposed into the market. And then it'll keep taking trades every single time up to four contracts as far as that goes. So that's the, the indicator and the strategy. If you notice that what they'll do is they'll work together. Uh, they'll work together and fire the arrows automatically for you uh, now, which is nice. Uh, and then, like I said, the code is open for the indicator and the strategy. So you can change your parameters. I'll show you how to do that to fit whatever market that you want to fit to. Some of you will want, want to like a, a longer uni. Some of you like a shorter uni. Um, I like the longer unis uh, because the, uh, they work quite well. And then when you go into it, let's say that, um, you know, we go into it. Uh, let's see, hold on one sec. Now, let me show you the mic. Gerald, hold on one second, and I'll show you. I'll show you real quick, guys. One second, one second, one second. So let me bring this other chart over real quick.
So if you want to do Renko bars, you can do, uh, instead of the uni bars, you can do Renko bars also. So there's the Renko bars. I mean, you see the trades are pretty much still the same as inside the zone, but this is a five sim Renko. This is an uni Renko bar, right? There's an uni Renko bar, and I'll show you how to do this, but you can do this in the, um, you can also do the, uh, Rinko bar that we have also. This is a five sim Rinko. Oh, uh, that's eight sim Rinko. I'm sorry, eight sim, but it works with a five sim also. I'll show you the five sim. And then the five sim, you can do that also as far as you want to do that. So there's still whatever you want to do. The arrows will only fire inside the zone, no matter what time frame you use. You're only going to get the arrows to fire inside the zone. As far as that goes. And then we'll go over a performance report. So once, we, once you go to performance, I mean, obviously, historical performance doesn't uh, uh, predict future performance. Make sure you know that. We'll, we'll put that in the disclaimer. But, you know, you when you go to performance, you can, you know, go to the right-click it, and you can see the accuracy of it. I went over that yesterday with the members in the room um, on the uh, the accuracy of uh, the, uh, the minis and then also the... Uh, um, the minis and also the big contract uh, for when I was forward testing. So we'll go over a lot of stuff in the uh, in the conference call also uh, coming up once you get that.